Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Recently, I'm playing with Microsoft 365 Developer Program and already had a couple of videos around it. If you haven't watched it yet, please check my channel videos or this video's description to find out how to get your free Microsoft 365 Developer subscription and work on it. There's one thing might be bothering you, which is 90 days to renew. As I showed before, Microsoft is not giving clear guidance what is defined as the developing activities which is critical for your renewing. There are lots of guessing and thinking around that. In this video, I'm going to do some renew around those guessing and thinking to see if my next subscription to get renewed. Let's start it. As you can see from the screen on Reddit, there are lots of discussing how much developing is required to keep Microsoft 365 developer subscription renewed. Some guy said there are four different methods which we can use to deploy into your SharePoint, deploy into your Power Automate Flow, Power Apps, and Power BI. Those will take around 30 to 6 minutes to get it done. I'm going to give it a try. It's a very good point. All credit goes to this person, Steve Mom Botiniak. And I will see in one month, my renewal gonna start it. I will see if it get renewed. Deploy lookbook template on SharePoint. Click link. It brings us to Microsoft 365 at work.com. Download 17 modern SharePoint template. This is just a post on there, but actually work, you have to go to Microsoft Lookbook site and choose an interesting design template. See examples. Add to your tenant. Provision. This template contains following elements which will be provisioned. I say site collection, branding element, example content. Just confirm. We can go to our SharePoint site to take a look. I didn't see that has been created. So basically, it's, uh, it's still provisioning. Um, we will get the email notification when the site is ready. So at this moment, it's still not ready yet. We can take a look um our look. So far we didn't get that um notification email. But it's fine, we can wait a bit, we can work on second one and to see if it get done um, once we finish the second one. Then to second step, set up power automate flow based on ready template. The first template is save Office 365 email attachment to OneDrive.
Let's say try it. It's pretty simple, looks like, as long as you log into Power Automate. And from the home page, there are lots of others. For example, save a message to OneNote. And just choose continue. And choose create. Now I should have three flows created. Now we do third one, set up power apps based on ready template. Power apps. Let's see if you can find out the uh, ready template, and then we can use it to create our apps, which can make our job easier. Build the custom apps in less than a day. Do more with less. Automate routine task and predict the new opportunities with artificial intelligence. Build your data. app and for every level let's explore the template i will try inventory management which is interesting for me format is tablet phone great As long as I have apps here, um, I think it, that should be enough. It will keep running in the background, I guess, to load some APIs. Welcome to Power App Studio, skip preview features and then refine apps. And let's see if I can save it. No, I don't want to save to my computer. I want to save to Power Apps. Um, yeah, and save. apps okay I got it um, let's see how can I run it so load some existing data um, I think okay I think that's it uh, at least at this moment we create the uh, apps in uh, power apps um, we got the third one um, and then I'm going to do deploy Power BI template from Gala. So let's uh, Power BI. So there's a recommend apps here. Okay, get started with Power BI. Let's see recommended apps on um, the search. Color no, couldn't find all oh, these template apps. Let's do this. Let's search. No, couldn't find it. Let's double check. Anyways, um, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to randomly pick one um, and add it into my Power BI apps. So that's going to be my another apps built uh, by Power BI. So let's uh, add your DevOps dashboard template. I'm going to get it now. And then I gonna do admin, admin, admin at dot com. I'm in Canada, so phone number. And then I give Microsoft permission. Install Power BI apps, install it. So while it's doing, I'm gonna go back to, oh, it's finished, that's fast. That looks great. Um, I'm gonna go back to SharePoint and see if it's uh, created from my first step, my new site. So this uh, unexpected issue. Let's do SharePoint. Still lo those old sites I created before. Point lookbook. See examples. Let's see examples. Leadership. SharePoint online. Tin and admin. English. Yes, I do have those. Okay. Um, leadership. Provisioning. It's validating prerequisite. What will be provision template contain following elements okay i confirm that so it says provisioning is in progress i'm gonna pause here and wait a while and then come back to see if it's been provisioned after a couple of minutes waiting um i come back to original page and uh, see this message provisioning completed um so they created a leadership connection website and let's take a look. Hmm. That's uh, very interesting and stunning. The website looks beautiful. Let's see if we can customize it. Hmm. Yes, we can customize some navigation. You can enable navigation, audience targeting. And what I like, we can customize it for. Okay, so here. And what I brought another site, I created, uh, let's take a look from my SharePoint apps. point so leadership connection right now we have that um, this uh, another one is still creating once that done I believe it's gonna show up here as well that's pretty much everything mentioned in the reddit post we are gonna see if this works there's another way which is creating your own OneDrive indexer page and show your content in your OneDrive, which is going to use an API to do that. See you in next video.